Would you be interested in the New York Jets trading for Cortland Sutton, wide receiver, Denver Broncos, who's doing the uh, cryptic tweets and then scrubbing the Broncos from his social media? And and he's never been, at least to my knowledge, like a diva kind of receiver. So I know that's, that stuff is kind of annoying, but it's just part of the business. So I'm not really too worried about that. He's been a pro. He's been in Denver a long time. He's dealt with a lot of mid to bad quarterback play. But with Sutton, you know, I, I would put him right in there with Ridley as one of my top targets. Now, Sutton, obviously, you'd have to give up draft capital for. But his cap hits for an acquiring team over the next two years would be $10 million and $14 million for his age 28 and 29 season. And I'm telling you, when, when we're going to see the numbers come in on Calvin Ridley, wherever he signs, maybe it's the Jets, he's probably going to get $20 million a year. So, Cortland Sutton, the, the price there is is honestly a discount for a guy who's been – He's put a very solid wide receiver two production last year, you know, 700 plus yards, 10 touchdowns. He is a good contested catch player. Um, not elite, but I think he'd be a good compliment to Garrett Wilson in this offense. And then it solves your receiver room besides just some depth heading into the draft. And what would it take to get him? You know, I'm sure the Broncos would start with asking for pick 72. I, I would have some hesitation there especially with how deep the wide receiver class is. But I would I would no doubt part with one of those fourth rounders, you know, pick 112, throw in one of those seventh round comp picks that are for Mr. Irrelevant, fourth and a seventh for Cortland Sutton. I would do that, uh, no problem. And uh, he was in my rankings that I made yesterday, uh, a tiered list of all the wide receiver targets in the New York Jets. You can check that out down below, and we'll talk all soon.